So where do we even begin to talk about this absolute disaster of Texas Chainsaw Massacre's latest community check-in stream that they haven't done one, by the way, in six months? And they may as well have not. All this fucking dev stream was was about them saying about what's not coming to the game. We're not getting Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I can live with that, okay? They were honest about that. That's fair enough. They said it was the IP holders being all iffy about bringing the license to the game. That's fair enough. Whether or not there's something else going on behind the scenes with that, who knows. But I can live with there being no Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 being brought into this game. But, moving on to the other things that's not coming, which was probably the most hype around the player base for the longest time, especially for me, was the raise and level cap that we were promised and also, like, adding in-game currency to earn. That is not coming into the game now, either. And now we're just going to be left here, buying their content, no real reason left to play the game again and this is just a disaster because you know they took the game off xbox game pass and you know we had to acquire the game again on xbox i also bought the content pass and you know they waited until everybody did that i guess to then turn around and say we're not adding in-game currency we're not raising the, the level cap and you know to me that was like the two biggest important factors for me to keep playing this game and i just don't want to play it anymore because what is the reason to? And, you know, people will say, well, you just play for fun. You know, nobody plays for fun in TCM. People get extremely competitive. It's balanced around being competitive and it's competitive for absolutely no reason because winning and losing means fuck all. So, you know, if winning and losing actually meant us earning something, earning XP, earning currency to buy skins and outfits and, and all the stuff that comes along with it, then that would be totally fine. But it's not built like that at all. And so the reason why we didn't get the level cap increase or the earnable in-game currency in this game is because of scheduling and how long it would take to create and put into the game. They'd have to change things on the back-end server. Boo-hoo, I'm a developer. But not only that, they then had the cheek to turn around and say, we wouldn't be able to create the mode like Rush Week. We wouldn't be able to create the map. I'm sorry, but nobody fucking asked for Rush Week. This was your wet dream that you wanted to add into the game, Wes. Nobody fucking asked for it. You put it in there. Granted, Rush Week was a cool idea. It was a cool concept. Poor execution, I think, in any ways. Um, but, you know, there's no reason to even play that game mode because there's no currency to be earned. There's no XP to be earned. So people just get bored of playing that as well. And, you know, with the recent map design, like the mill, you know, we don't fucking care about the mill. The mill is dog shit map. Nobody likes it. So it's just a poor excuse for not adding these. And it's just another way of saying we don't want to give away stuff for free. You know, we want you to be buying shit in our game. Look at, put it this way, right? The content pass got announced, you know, a month ago, I think it was. And, you know, four cosmetics have been announced already for Virginia, for Sissy, for Hans, and for Maria. And guess what? Not a single one of them is included in the content pass. Not only that, by the way, there's also this massive Halloween pack that you can buy for Rush Week characters only. And then you've got to pay more money for that as well. So, you know, this game now is just becoming cosmetic central of fucking microtransactions being thrown in there for outfits that don't even look that good. And, you know, you're going to be overpaying for those outfits in a game mode where you're going to get killed by Johnny in two or three hits. So you're not even going to get to see much of that outfit. And that's still being added to the game as well. So, you know, that's the recap from the latest community check-in. It was basically them saying, this isn't coming to the game, by the way. This isn't coming to the game now. This isn't coming to the game. It was just fucking repeat after repeat of that happening. And, you know, we want to add this, but we can't. You know, this usual shit. And, you know, this is the first community check-in we've had in six months. That's half a year. And, yeah, no real good news come out of it other than possibly the new map and gas station getting a variant of a storm. By the way, Wes was extremely excited about weather cycling and storms on this dev stream but as you recall in previous dev streams i remember him saying why would we add something like that you know it would be pretty you know it would be too hard to do it would be it wouldn't make any sense you know we don't want a tornado coming across the map in texas and taking the front of the house out and having the victims run around free i remember he was totally against adding weather cycling and stuff into this game but now all of a sudden he's all for it and he finds it really fun and enjoyable but yeah let's throw it in there but you know this is the main problem with this game now is from what i was listening to in this dev stream they seemed more focused on what they want to do on rush week and you could actually see they were kind of excited to talk about rush week and when it came to the main game mode and stuff they were like oh yeah well you know you're going to have a leatherface cosmetic in the uh, content pass we're working on a new family and victim for the content pass hello i like money you know this is all they talked about and 
this is why I said, you know, Rush Week should have been their own separate game. I would have played that more fleshed out, you know, perks, loadouts, cosmetics, totally free, the TCM license. It probably would have done way better than it actually being so, like sucked into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game itself. It would have done way better. You can just tell they seem more relaxed, more enjoy, like more enjoyment about themselves talking about this Rush Week game mode. And yeah, um, they should really should probably look at making their own new game at this rate because by the sounds of it, they're very limited by the IPs. And it's a shame because, you know, this game was fun while it lasted. But, you know, if you're not going to increase the level cap, you know, there's only going to be so many skill points left where, you know, a new victim and family member is going to come out. There's going to only going to be so many more victim and family members to where we're not going to be able to get any more skill points. And yeah, that's it. That's the end of the content cycle, I guess, for this game. But yeah, it's a, it's a big fucking joke. Um, I've already uninstalled the game. I'm just totally over it at this point. I'm done. And, and there you have it. The demise of Texas came from this one man's wet dream of adding the Jallo inspired game mode to his game and not actually adding in the fun stuff like earnable currency and increased level cap for people to keep playing the game. Look, it isn't fucking rocket science. Look at Dead by Daylight. Just look at it. It takes five minutes to look at this game. Why are so many people playing it? There's a reason people like to earn it's just basic brain chemistry. We all like to earn. We like games to respect our time. You can only play a game for so many hours before you're playing for fun. And like I said, most people in TCM don't even play for fun. They just play to be competitive assholes. So yeah, it's not a great experience overall. You're running into competitive games when you're already max level. You're not getting any XP in any ways to earn towards anything. Like what's the fucking point? Um, other than if you love the franchise, I guess I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've watched most of the movies now and, you know, I enjoy it. I just, when I'm playing the game, I enjoy, I enjoy how much homage it pays to the license itself and, you know, how they've pulled from the, the first movie very well. And like I said, I could live with them not bringing in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, but you know, that love for a franchise can only take you so far in a video game. And, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 was at least more gamey than the first game but they did a good job with the first one but and honestly i just think this game is a sinking ship at this point it's only a matter of time before it's fully submerged and you know there's just not going to be anything left and yeah like i said they just want you to open your wallets for them and line their pockets at this rate by it's just the time and everything that's how it looks to me you know take the game of xbox game pass make all the people rebuy the game, make people buy the content pass, and then they actually go back on their word about all the promises they were going to add to the game. And then, yeah, it's a fucking shambles. And I don't want to be a part of it anymore. And, you know, for all you guys who think I missed the negative about it, I'm just being fucking realistic at this point. You know, it's just an absolute shambles. You know, what positives can you actually take from that recent dev stream? I came onto that dev stream watching it and hoping that, you know what? If they say something about a level cap increase, if they say something about in-game currency being worked on and it's going to come soon, I'll be all for it. I'll jump back into the game, you know, going to be able to earn some cosmetics and at some point. But yeah, it's just, there's nothing. There's no soul. It's it's just lacking total passion and it all just stemmed from somebody having a wet dream of a giallo horror experience to be put into their game, unfortunately. But let me know your thoughts down below about the recent community check-in. Um, this is probably going to be my final TCM video because I don't want to spend any more time talking about this game and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me. And I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me talk about this game much longer, honestly. I feel like I'm just wasting my time at this point. But things had to be said and yeah, that's just in my opinion about all the matters that's just been addressed on the community check-in stream. I had to give my reaction to it. That's what I do. I give reaction videos to news as well. So like it or not, tough shit. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say on the matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Pixels, made awesome views. I'll catch you guys in the next one.